Can drinking alcohol and coffee actually be good for sperm in your country? What about smoking or summer versus winter? Shockingly, whether good or bad really depends on which country you are from. In this video, I will reveal 10 weird factors that affect sperm quality differently in different countries. Welcome to the Cure.Expert channel! Cure.Expert is a California Medical Board registered telehealth clinic focusing on men's health. Knowledge is provided by Dr. John Wu, MD, licensed U.S. physician. I'm Cure Expert Science Analyst and your host, Eileen. Before we start, please note that if I don't mention your country, it doesn't mean that it's true or not true for your country. It just means that there's no research for your country. Also, if you find this video interesting, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Coffee. What about coffee? Some people say that drinking coffee is okay for your health, but only if you don't drink too many cups. Does that mean that drinking too much coffee can be too toxic for your sperm? Well, scientific research says no. It's quite the opposite. According to this study from Brazil, if you drink six cups or more of coffee, it actually makes your sperm swim better. What? That's crazy. But that only holds true for Brazilians, right? Wrong. According to this Norwegian study, coffee does not negatively affect sperm. My conclusion is that if you are from Brazil or Norway, coffee is not bad for your sperm at all. And if you happen to be from Brazil, coffee may even be better than vitamins in energizing your sperm. Who knew sperm can get a high from coffee? So let's put Brazil in the good category and Norway in the no difference category for coffee. Alcohol. We have been taught by the government and by mass media that alcohol is evil, is really bad for your body. Alcohol kills your brain cells and damages your liver. But is it really that bad for your sperm? You might be surprised to learn that the answer is actually no. However, this is only proven true if you are from Argentina, Singapore, and Norway. According to this study from Singapore, alcohol does not affect sperm quality, at least social drinking, not heavy drinking, by the way. And this study from Argentina and this study from Norway also support this conclusion. And what can we take away from all this? Certainly, if you drink too many glasses of wine, you may have difficulty getting an erection. But in terms of sperm quality, if you are an alcohol drinker from Argentina, Singapore, and Norway, you can relax and confidently have a beer or two. Your sperm will be fine. So I would put Argentina, Singapore, and Norway in the no difference category for alcohol. Seasons, spring. We all have an image of spring as a special season when the snow thaws and the flowers start to blossom. A time for romance and love. You would think that biologically sperm must be in great shape during spring, right? Unfortunately, the scientific conclusion is a no if you are from Finland, UK, France, and Denmark. That's according to this European study. So. I would put the result for spring for the countries of Finland, UK, France, and Denmark in the bad category. Seasons. Summer. What about summer then? Summer is a time of energy, beaches, and vacations. Summer must be positive for sperm, right? Well, according to this study, if you are from Brazil, summer is a terrible season for your sperm. This is a time when your sperm cannot seem to move around. And the same is true if you are from Switzerland, according to this study. But that's only if you smoke, though. If you are a non-smoker from Switzerland, then summer does not make a difference for the quality of your sperm. So, I will show the scientific result for summer like this. 
Brazil and Switzerland in the bad category. Seasons, winter. If spring and summer are not good seasons for sperm quality, are there any seasons that are good for sperm? The answer is winter. If you think about it, this makes biological sense. The reason is high temperature can damage sperm. That's why in most animals, testicles are on the outside of the body. So, in which country do we have evidence for that winter is good for sperm? It's Brazil, according to this Brazilian study. So, Brazil gets placed in the good category for winter, saunas. As I have said, the higher the temperature in the environment, the worse it is for sperm. That makes a lot of sense and is the norm for most countries. But do you know there is one country where that does not matter? Norway! In this study of 252 men from Norway, the researchers concluded that for Nordic men, apparently he from saunas, hot baths, or even tight underwear does not negatively affect their sperm or their fertility. Is there something biologically different about Nordic men? Or is it something they eat? We just don't know. So, for saunas for our table, we will put Norway in the no difference category. Age. We know that when we age, our organs decrease in function. Along the same line of thinking, you would think that sperm would be the same. That the older you get, the worse your sperm gets. Well, this is certainly true for many countries. But did you know that there are some countries where your sperm does just fine, even if you are very old? Let's start with the countries where age negatively affects sperm. In the USA, according to this study and this study and this study, as you age, the quality of your sperm goes down. That means sperm does not move as well, and you get a lot less sperm. But it's not just the USA though. If you are from Israel, as seen in this study, or from Brazil, as in this other study, aging is also bad for sperm. Interestingly though, exactly how old you are matters. In Israel, age is only a problem if you are over 55 years old. But in Brazil, age becomes a problem when you reach just 40 to 45 years old. But wait, you might be thinking, which of the countries where it doesn't matter for your sperm even if you are old? The answer is Germany and Canada. If you are from Germany, as shown in this study, and if you are from Canada, as seen in this other study, it looks like older men in Germany and Canada have no problems making new babies. Who would have guessed? So, for age, I would put Germany and Canada in the no difference category and put the USA, Israel, and Brazil in the bad category. No sex. Can not having sex be good or bad for your sperm? Let me rephrase that because we have to take masturbation into account. If you don't ejaculate sperm, is that good or bad for sperm quality? The answer, as seen in this study from Brazil, is that it's bad for sperm. But how often do you have to ejaculate to have good sperm? Well, according to the same study, your sperm is not too healthy if you have not ejaculated in five days. So, if you are from Brazil and you are trying to have a baby and you want good sperm, you should aim to have sex twice or more within five days. And I would put Brazil in the bad category under no sex. Smoking. Nowadays, the image of smoking is not a good one. Smoking causes lung cancer and breathing problems. Smoking must be really bad for your sperm, you would think. Or is it? What does the science say? You might be shocked to learn that if you are from certain countries, you can smoke as much as you want and it doesn't seem to affect your sperm. Smoking is only negative for sperm if you are from certain countries. Let's start with countries where smoking is not good for sperm. 
for Europe, as seen in this Swedish study, this study from Denmark, this French study, this Swiss study, this Czech study, smoking impairs sperm for the Middle East, and this Turkish study, this Egyptian study, this Saudi Arabian study, this Kuwait study, and this Iranian study, smoking causes defects in sperm. As for Asia, the evidence from this Chinese study and this study from Singapore shows the harm on sperm from smoking. Many studies from USA and Canada, for example, this study and this study and this study and also this study, reveal the negative effects of smoking on sperm viability. So, in which countries do smokers not have to worry about bad sperm? The answer is Brazil, as discussed in this study. Austria, as seen in this study. Norway, as revealed in this study. And Argentina, as shown in this study. For Argentina, though, if you smoke or if you drink, there is no effect on sperm. But if you smoke and you drink, then sperm will be badly affected. If you are from Spain, there's a surprising twist for smokers who want to have kids. As concluded in this study, if you smoke heavily, it's highly likely that you will have baby girls, which in today's world, you can't call that a negative result, I would think, but just weird. As regards to smoking for our results table, I would put all of these countries in the bad category and put Brazil, Austria, Norway, and Argentina in the no difference category. Stress. We know that psychological stress takes a toll on our bodies. But can stress also negatively affect sperm? You would think that universally stress would have the same effect on everyone's bodies across the world. But surprisingly, whether it affects your sperm or not really depends on which country you live in. Well, in which countries is stress bad for sperm? Based on the research that I was able to find, Turkey, as seen in this study, and this study, and this other study. Japan, as shown in this study. Interestingly, stress after an earthquake affects Japanese men's sperm only if the earthquake is over 6 on the Richter scale. The USA, as revealed in this study. The question you might ask next is, in which country is the quality of sperm not affected by stress? Research shows only one country, Denmark. According to this study, men in Denmark seem not to be affected by stress from their jobs or daily living. Well, at least the stress does not affect their sperm or their ability to have kids. I wonder what they are doing right in Denmark that allows them to be so stress resistant. So for stress, for our results table, I would put Denmark in the no difference category and put Turkey, Japan and the USA in the bad category. Exercise. What about exercise? Doctors have been telling everyone to exercise and exercise. Obviously, exercise is good for your heart. But is it good for your sperm? Well, we have to be objective about it. As it turns out, research shows that exercise does not make your sperm any better, at least in Norway, per this study. That means in Norway, the quality of sperm from a marathon runner versus a couch potato is all the same. Who would have thought? So, in terms of exercise, I would put Norway in the no difference category. Overweight. Obesity is bad. At least, that's what all doctors say. You get all kinds of diseases from being overweight, like heart disease, diabetes, etc. But have you ever wondered whether or not having excess fat can affect your sperm? As it turns out, it can. In this study from Australia, overweight men have significantly reduced total sperm count. Excess fat seems to depress sperm production. But is this true in other countries? Well, there's not a ton of research on this, 
but I was able to find this study from Denmark, which looked at over 1,500 Danish young men. The researchers concluded that high BMI is associated with lower sperm quality. Curiously, they also found that if you are too skinny with BMI under 20, that is also bad for your spur. I guess in Denmark, if you want to have babies, you shouldn't be too overweight or too skinny either. So I would put Australia and Denmark in the bad category under being overweight. Conclusion I hope you guys found this video interesting and maybe even helpful if you are trying to have a baby. Thanks for watching! Also, if you are interested in men's telehealth or ED drugs, please see the description under the video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and share. See you next time!